couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riffs and in this video I'm going to show you how you can take four simple chords and create your own variation on a flamenco style intro or your own flamenco style noodling on the guitar. Flamenco style, flamenco influenced, it's all the same. Um, this is not a flamenco lesson per se, we're going to borrow from flamenco music, from Spanish music, um, and implement um, its own logic to our own playing and see what we can do with those four simple chords, which basically are the Spanish guitar chord progression, which is this. Right? You all know it. B minor, A, G, and F sharp. There is a reason we're playing this in B minor, I'll explain that in a second, but you know this can be played in any key, any minor key, for example, in A minor is gonna be A minor, G, F, and E. But B minor has one big advantage. I'm gonna explain that in a second, and just, um, I just wanna start by pointing out one very important thing, because we're gonna use that later as a source of soloing. Um, this is actually going down with chords descending down the B minor scale, but with one major change, pun intended. Um, if you play the B minor scale down the chords, you have F sharp minor. And that doesn't sound quite right. It doesn't have the same effect. If you turn it into a major chord, F sharp major, then you have the dominant fifth. And then you have that Spanish guitar chord progression sound. And um, this is gonna be an important note. Not that important, but still an important note because it makes all the difference. Um, so we take that chord progression, B minor, A, G, and F sharp, and we're gonna start adding embellishments, for example. Stuff like that. Now, the huge advantage that the B minor scale has is that on the guitar it has all of the open strings in the scale. Yeah, I finish an F sharp because that's the strong note. So um, that's the note with all the tension. So um, we're gonna use that too. Just remember, we have all of the open strings in the scale. Let's go over the scale before we start. Three, two, zero, three, two, zero, two, zero, or four, two, zero on the third string because four on the third string is the open second string, okay? So again, three, two, zero, three, two, zero, two, zero. 420420 320 zero, 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 zero again. And of course you finish on F sharp because we're in a Spanish influenced kind of music. So let's finally start toying around with the chords. B minor. First of all, you can turn this into B minor 7 by taking your pinky off of the third string. You can settle for that. Or you can take the bar itself off of the guitar. Just make sure you're playing the B bass note to on the fifth string and then you have, this is the add 11 note. This is the flat 13 note, okay? So you have a really, really complicated chord, but it's really simple to play it. And it's B minor add 11 flat 13, so. Now let's go to the next chord, A. Now for A we can play A sus2, we can play A sus2 add 6 or A sus2 add 13 if you want, 
by playing the open second string and two on the E string. We can also try to take off the finger off of the third string to create an A7. This is a really interesting chord because it has three embellishments. Okay, two and two on strings one and four, the rest are open. So, now the chord that I played at the beginning was uh, this which is slightly different because it's A7 and we add the sixth on two on the E string, so it's A7, okay, no finger on the third string, and we add two on the E string, so we get a jazz 13 chord. But there's nothing jazzy about it in this context. It's just very, very pretty. We're gonna play with that later. Just remember, you have options. I'm showing you the basic options so you can take it and make it your own. Then you have the G chord. Again, open strength, right? So you can take the finger off of the E string and immediately you have G6. You can put two on the E string to have G major seven. Okay? If you're playing B minor and then A6, and then you play G major seven, you have a pedal note, two on the E string. And then of course, it's F sharp, so it's an F sharp. So that's immediately a melodic option. So um, again, in G, you have two on the E string, you have an open E string for G6, you can play, um, let's try. Okay, two on the second string, it's a really, really interesting sound. And you have three, um, two on the third string, okay, for the ninth, the add ninth. You see, you just try the same fret on all the strings, either the open string or two, just try it. Okay, and we're gonna use that same trick for soloing on it later. Then with F sharp, you have really, really interesting harmonies. I'm gonna explain the idea. F sharp major is already full of tension, but in order to receive that flamenco Spanish guitar sound, take the pinky from four on the fourth string to five. And then you have this. This is a flat nine chord. It's F sharp, flat nine. Okay? And that's kind of a signature chord for flamenco music. And just to demonstrate. Okay? See, immediately sounds a bit flamenco-ish. So, um, yeah, I know I'm playing an acoustic guitar, so it doesn't sound at all like flamenco, but don't be petty. Okay? I'm trying to teach you a concept. So, um, you have this. But here's the beauty about the B minor scale. Again, five on the fourth string. What is that note? It's G, right? And where else do you have G? The open third string. So basically what you can do is you can lift the bar and then you have the add 11 and the seventh. And if you take the finger off of the G string, you get the flat ninth. So again, three embellishments by lifting a finger off of the strings. So this is why I love the B minor scale for this. And this is exactly how easy it is to create really interesting landscapes with the chords just by playing with the open strings and checking out our options. So before we go into soloing, into connecting the chords by soloing along with them, um, just connecting them by very, very short licks, including bass note licks, which is very, very important. Um, let's try again. Um, and I wanna show you what I'm doing with uh, this hand. All I'm doing is let's take the special F sharp chord and what I'm doing is I'm picking all of the strings one by one. 
But when I reach the E string, I just rake back down. Okay, so. And when played fluently, okay, sounds like this. Pretty awesome. You can kind of double it up by doing this. Again, when you reach the fifth string, you place your thumb on the sixth and rake back up. So it takes just a little bit of practice, but if I can do it, you can do it. Um, so where were we? We were still in harmonies. So again, let's just try to see what we can do. And by the way, with all these embellishments, any picking pattern you choose would sound awesome. Trust me on this. fancy about it. It's just open strings. This is why I love this so much and that's why I really wanted to make a lesson on this. Um, so before we complicate things even further, let's start playing around with the licks. Okay, now the importance of what I'm going to show you is this. Don't try to show off your skills. Try to build interesting connective melodies. And the way to do that is by merely playing a couple of notes, just two or three notes between each chord change. For example, okay, I wasn't sure which A I was gonna play there, that's why I kind of stumbled on that, but that's the point, okay? Just play a couple of notes of the scale. Choose a string, play a lick on the scale notes over there, and that's it, just move on to the next chord. 95% of the cases, it'll work. Okay, same trick, same thing. Hammer on, note, note. Okay, we can do this. Okay, no second picking. Hammer on, pull off, wait a minute, then another pull off. Okay. However you want to pick this, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, what does matter is the fact that you can, um, you can do something like this. Right? Not like this, this is pretty lame, but if you use it to connect the chords, then it becomes something really interesting. Immediately, just two zero on all the strings down to A. Um, there are many, many, many options, uh, and I don't want to get into the mechanics of soloing. I want you to try it um, yourself, and I want you to find your own connective lines. And the more examples I give you, the more your ideas will be tied to mine. So I don't want to do that. I want to give you the mechanics, I want to give you the techniques, I want to give you the secrets because it's no secret, that's why the quotation marks. So um, that's basically it. You have open strings, use them. The important thing is the bass note lines. The bass note lines are way more important than the high note lines. What do I mean by that? I mean this. best example but I was just going for simplicity there so there are many ways you can connect the bass notes but it's important to think ahead about the next chords bass note okay B A G and F sharp now you can use the scale notes you can use E before F sharp or you can use approach notes, you can use the chromatic notes, for example. Okay? 
just the note a half step above or below the note. Or you can, uh, again, use very, very, very slight, very, very delicate embellishments. Okay, stuff like that. Um, again, nothing fancy. It's not about showing off, it's about creating a flamenco-influenced melody, okay? That's all there is to it. I'm not saying uh, run over the scale, I'm not saying shred, I'm not saying play anything fast, okay? I'm just saying play something beautiful, try to create something that has meaning. So I'll try to um, put my fingers where my mouth is and try to create something so you can uh, just see an example. Let's see how I do. to the chord notes. crazy there but in my mind all I was trying to think of was don't repeat the same example try to try to change so at some points it was a good example at some points kind of slacked off there but I just wanted to try and give you as many rhythmic examples as many you know contrapuntal examples as I could um, but I hope I made my point I hope you got the idea. Again, a little recap before we, uh, before we finish this lesson. Use the scale notes. Right? Use the open strings. Okay, try to take off notes. This works as a melody, by the way, as well. Um, try to take off, uh, you know, try to add notes to the chords. Try to play around with G because you have many, many available fingers there. important listen to yourself listen to what comes out of your fingers and just let yourself flow use your ears don't again don't try to overcomplicate it okay I know I kind of overcomplicated it in my example but still um, I was only trying to give an example if I'll try to play it after I shut off the camera I'll play something completely different so uh, I'll say goodbye for now, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe, it's, uh, the button is right over there, and join the Lick and Riff community and uh, learn guitar for free. Uh, it's my pleasure to teach, so it'll be my pleasure to have you. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and now that I'm finished with the lesson, let's pretend that the camera is shut off, and I'll see what I can do. <laughs>